What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Canelo Alvarez, Jaime Munguia. We had an equally balanced fight, pretty spectacular, had its spots, and let's get to it. Canelo Alvarez came out slow, um, cautious, defensive, where Jaime Munguia came out shooting that jab, shooting that jab to the body, shooting that jab upstairs, throwing it, tripling, doubling it up on the jab, throwing the right hands, throwing punches and bunches. And he looked very well. Round one, I had to give it to Jaime Mugia. Canelo didn't throw enough punches, you know, let alone land enough punches. Round two, same thing. Jaime Mugia started uh, shooting that jab to the body, keeping his guard high, shooting that jab upstairs, throwing the right hand, throwing combinations. And at this point by round two, you can tell that Jaime Mugia had was studied, really studied the Bivol Alvarez fight because of what Bivol was doing. Bivol would not give Canelo time to rest or reset or to um, counter the way that he normally done. Okay. And rounds three, more of the same. This time, Jaime Mugia started throwing and really loading up on shots. And he was throwing throwaway shots, just one, two, three, four, five, six. And then he would land and accent it with a good right hand. And, you know, that got Canelo's attention. His eyes started swelling a little bit. He started standing up in rounds four. Canelo really um, got close enough to throw punches because Jaime got closer and more aggressive. And Jaime started bending over. So when he started bending over, that gave uh, uh, Canelo the, the opportunity to throw the right uppercut, left hook. Down goes Jaime Mugia. And I don't even think Jaime Mugia's ever been down. Okay. But he was definitely stunned by that right hand. Great punch placement. Rounds five, Jaime Mugia, you know, got his bearings back, but he was a little tentative because the respect of the punch and power by Canelo Alvarez. Okay. And then Canelo did his thing, um, landing left hooks to the body, overhand punches. Uh, his head movement wasn't where it used to be, I don't feel, but it was good enough for Jaime Mugia. Okay. Cause Jaime, throws winging shots like he did, you know, winging shots, right hands, and then he would be, he would get cut with uppercuts. But the main punches were the right uppercut, the overhand right, and the left hook to the body, right hook to the body by Canelo Alvarez. And he really started to do that. Round six, he hurt Mungia again with a left hook. Okay. He caught him with that left hook and really hurt him, buckled him. He was taking it back, but where the glove hit, it let his, his is Jaime's face. Here's where the glove, but the glove had the impact. If he turned that sucker over, we probably could have did, uh, had a duplicate Billy Joe Saunders moment where he shattered Billy Joe Saunders, uh, orbital bone. Okay. But it did not. Fortunately for Jaime Mugia. seven, eight, nine, Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Um, no, ninth round, uh, Mungia really started landing the right hand and he showed that he was back. Um, Jaime Mungia started landing rights and lefts, you know, especially with the straight right. <clears throat> he was really on to something with the right hand. But, you know, Canelo has such a chin, bro. He's so durable. You know, he has a he has a chin on him. That beard is strong. Rounds 10, 11. Um, it was Canelo. Canelo you know, picked his spots. Jaime Mugia pretty much gave him where what he needed to for the most part. However, I'll say this about Jaime Mugia and his defense. It has gotten better. Okay. Because a lot of shots he could have got hit with, he didn't. This wasn't necessarily Canelo versus Angulo, because we see that was a that was a massacre. This wasn't necessarily a massacre. This was a fighter in Canelo that's more seasoned. He took his time. He set up shots, but did he go in for the kill? No. Okay, the prime Canelo would have. Okay, but this Canelo was more tamed. He was more patient. And I think he was more complacent based on what he was able to do in the ring, okay? Rounds uh, 11, you know, Mungia came out round 12, I'm sorry, 
and really showed that he was really trying to win this thing. He came out like Julio Cesar Chavez and Oscar De La Hoya too. What the hell, right? <laughs> and he really came out throwing punches and bunches and he really showed what he was trying to do and he made a valiant effort in that, in that ring. Um, he didn't go down again. Unanimous decision for Canelo Alvarez. I heard some people on the live chat you know, which I closed a couple hours ago, say robbery. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? There is no robbery in that fight whatsoever, okay? So, yeah, it was a very balanced fight. It had its oohs and ahs. Jaime Mugia landed some good shots. You know, uh, again, he was come, he came from 154 to 160 to 168. So he's not, a, he, he's not as uh, seasoned or not as acclimated like Canelo Alvarez being the undisputed champion in the weight class, you know, but I'll say this for the first three rounds, it was very interesting because Jaime Mugia looked like he could really pull off an upset based on the amount of punch volume. See, he punched enough to give Canelo Alvarez the pressure and the problems, but he couldn't keep that up because I think he got too comfortable on the inside. Um, Canelo was asked about David Benavidez, which was there waiting right behind Tank Davis. And, you know, they started when he said, oh, well, hey, you want to fight David Benavidez? He was like, I want to go home and rest for a while, you know, and people start booing. Then he switched up. He reversed it real quick and said, oh, if the man is right. I'll fight him tonight. I don't give a shit. You know, all that stuff. You know what I mean? But. You know, like that people will read that as, no, you still don't want none of David Benavidez, especially after Jaime Mugia had his moments in this fight. And David Benavidez is totally, fully acclimated to that particular particular weight class, even though he's going to 175 and they're giving him a certain amount of time. I think the WBC is to whether stay or go either 175 or 168. You can't stay in both. So, uh. Good fight, though. Uh, I liked it. It was exciting. Was it worth $90? Nah. <laughs> uh, I missed the old DAZN platform, you know, subscription-based only. But no, I had a good night of boxing. Canelo Alvarez showed that he's still around for a reason. Um, he gave Jaime Mugia his first L. Uh, I kind of felt bad for Jaime because, you know, he you could tell he was hurt. You know, this is his first loss, man. And I think it was his first knockdown also. So, you know, a, a lot of things... A lot of emotions are flying for him because this is, you know, this is a new experience for the Tijuana warrior there. But yeah, good fight from Canelo. Um, past his prime, but still got enough to do the time. Bars. You guys tell me what you think about this fight of Canelo Alvarez beating Jaime Mugia to a unanimous decision, dropping him one time in the fourth. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.